Hey guys, welcome to fourth grade, chapter eight, lesson two. Let's go ahead and get started. So this wants us to list the next four multiples of a fraction, okay? Well, you're gonna keep the denominator the entire way across. Okay, now you're just gonna go three. Well, three plus three is six, plus three more is nine, plus three more is 12, plus three more is 15. Done, guys. Okay, let's do that again. Okay, we are going to keep the denominator all the way across. Okay, then two, well, two plus two is four, plus two more is six, plus two more is eight, plus two more is 10. Done. Okay, you guys do three and four. Okay, keep your denominator, keep adding that top number. Okay, all right, so now it says to write the product as the product of a whole number in a unit fraction. So we're just multiplying, okay? Well, let's put that two over one, okay? And now two times, oh, ah, okay. Hmm. Okay. So forget that. Give me just a second. Okay. It wants us to break it up. These are being measured by one fifth. Okay. Each one of these is a fifth. Okay. So one fifth. And now we're going to count how many of them, or actually this number will tell us. Okay. So we're keeping the one fifth. Okay. And we multiplied it eight times. Done. Okay. These ones are in one third. Okay, well, how many of those did we do? Okay, well, 10 of them. Done. Okay. So, first number by the numerator of the last number that we bounced to. Okay, all right. Jessica is making two loaves of banana bread. She needs three quarters of a cup of sugar for each loaf her measuring cup can only hold a quarter of a cup of sugar how many times will jessica need to fill it all right well so for each loaf okay they need three quarters of a cup and they're making two loaves okay so that's going to be okay so for the next one we would keep the denominator right but we would add that three. So three plus three is six. So six times six scoops, six, one quarter cup, serving six, whatever, but six, okay? All right, a group of four students is performing an experiment with salt. Each student must add three eighths of a teaspoon of salt to the solution, but the group only has a one eighth teaspoon. How many times will the group need to fill the measuring spoon? Well, there's four students. Okay, so we need to do three eighths four times. Okay, four times. Okay, so three eighths. We're going to keep the same denominator each time, right? Okay. So three plus three is six, plus three is nine, plus three is 12. 12 scoops. Okay. All right, we're gonna go into the back where you guys are gonna do the lesson check because you're amazing and you can. And then we're gonna go down to start all of you. So Ira has 128 stamps in his stamp collection, stamp album. He has the same number of stamps on each of eight pages. How many stamps are on each page? Well, 128. And we're going to divide that by eight. Okay. So eight will not go into one. Eight will go into 12 one time. One times eight is eight. Subtract and get four. All right. Four is smaller than eight, so I can bring down this eight. Well, eight goes into 48 six times, and six times eight is 48. Subtract is zero. So 
16, and it's how many stamps, so 16 stamps. Done. Okay? Ryan is saving up for a bike that costs $198. So far, he's saved $15 per week for the last 12 weeks. How much more money does Ryan need in order to be able to buy the bike? So, first we need to find out how much money he has, and then we need to subtract it. So, 15 times 12, and then 198, subtract however much we have there, okay? So, 2 times 5 is 10, carry that 1. 2 times 1 is 2, plus 1 more is 3. All right. We're going to tick, tack, and toe, and then 1 times 15, and we're going to add those up. 0, 8, 1, so 180, subtract, 8 minus 0 is 8, and 9 minus 8 is 1, and then 1 minus 1 is nothing, so $18. Okay, Tana buys three and seven eighths yards of materials at the fabric store. She uses it to make a skirt. Afterwards, she has one and three eighths of fabric left over. How many yards of material does Tina use? Okay, so we're gonna go three and seven eighths. Subtract one and three eighths. All right. Well, let's see. Three minus two, or sorry, three minus one is two. Okay. We're going to keep our denominator. And seven minus three is four. Now, the only difference there is that four over eight can be reduced. So we still have our two, and then four goes into four once, and four goes into eight two times. So you can put two and four eighths, or you can put two and a half, but it needs to be labeled yards. So just YD will work perfectly, okay? Okay, all right. Or do these fractions from least to greatest? Well, first we need to have them all have common denominators, okay? So I'm going to rewrite them right here. Okay, then we need to have them all have common denominators. So the only number they have in common, the smallest number they have in common is going to be 12. 3 goes into 12, 4 goes into 12, and obviously 12 goes into 12. So our new denominator is going to be 12. Okay, in order to get the 3 to 12, we had to multiply it by 4. So let's multiply the top by 4. So whatever we do at the bottom, we have to do at the top. That's an 8. Okay? In order to get 12 to 12, we didn't have to do anything. So I'm just going to copy that 7 down. Okay? In order to get 4 to 12, we had to multiply it by 3. So I'm going to multiply the top by 3 and get 9. So now from smallest to biggest, least to greatest. Okay? So we're going to have 7 twelfths, 2 thirds, and 3 quarters. All right. Okay. All right, y'all. Thanks for hanging out for 8.2. Come on back for 8.3. See you soon.